Welcome back to Baxa Rubiana. This is Günther speaking here and I'm congratulating for Vishivanka Day. That's something very special in Ukraine. Hello my friends in Ukraine. This is my traditional embroidered dress in front of the Ukrainian flag. It's the 19th of May. I would like to encourage and to say my solidarity and also my congratulations. Uh, despite how difficult everything is, Ukraine, uh, Ukraine is on the trajectory to victory and I'm convinced uh, that Ukraine will win. This is very important. Uh, this is, um, I think, history changing victory of Ukraine. And I'm very proud that I lived for years in this beautiful country and that I have been always supporting NATO, EU integration, the whole since 2016 when I came to Ukraine. I was actually already a, a supporter of Ukraine in EU and NATO already from the Orange Revolution and actually in my student times in 96 already. So now history is turning around to but the better. Despite all the horrific losses and all the horrific uh, crimes which Russia has committed in 2022 and since 2014 already. But uh, today, 2022, I'm more than ever convinced that Ukraine will join uh, NATO and will be in the EU and will adopt the Euro. These are the three most important uh, fundamentals. Uh. Of course, now in the reconstruction, they are discussing Ukraine uh, to have a flexible currency again. Complete mistake. I don't know what is happening in the National Bank of Ukraine. They have collected all the best economists. Okay, they didn't call me. But nevertheless, honestly, the reconstruction of Ukraine has to happen within the European Union. That's the Marshall Plan. And then obviously the EU must make a debt instrument to fund the economic transition of energy. Now we have done 300 billion for the green energy inside the EU. But obviously it will cost about 700 billion to reconstruct and integrate Ukraine. And then the other eight countries to come. So my estimation and the rearmament effort, <coughs> because we need European rearmament. So ultimately we are at 1.5 trillion, which we need as a new debt instrument. And Mr. Timmermans was already very clear on that one. But it all makes only real sense if Ukraine will be Euroized and on a firm EU trans and trajectory and all other countries as well. And then enlargement and integration of these nine countries will be the big project of the next uh, 10 years. And of course to get rid of Russian energy, very good. And also to have this energy transition in order to be able to get rid of Russian energy. By the way, we should boycott, don't trade with the enemy. And please also help America. They have a milk shortage crisis. We have so much milk powder in Europe. They can bring the weapons back to Poland and we bring the milk powder over there. Let's make a transatlantic partnership. And as I always say, Ukraine will join NATO and also Austria, Cyprus, Malta, Ireland and also Moldova. By the way, congratulations to the president of Moldova made excellent performance in Brussels yesterday. But, of course, uh, she didn't call for NATO membership. She didn't uh, call for, uh, ask for adoption of the euro. We have to be all in in this crisis. Sweden, Finland, everybody, we must be absolutely performing better, more united. And that is the message of the 19th of May, Vishivanka Day 2022. All more united in Europe, within the Western world, with America, in NATO, in the EU, and, of course, with the euro. It's very logical and that we need to do and we will be coming out of this tragic war of 2022 much stronger, much more united, much more open and much more successful and much more secure and also more prosperous. Despite the challenges of energy transition, decoupling of Russia and Russian aggression, we will be even more united. If we enlarge the EU and NATO and the Euro, we will be absolutely very successful in the coming decade. And that's the logic of my video here and of my activity. Thanks a lot for subscribing. More to come from Pax Rubiana. And I will um, brief you on my activities in Austria in the coming days. And also more visits on the EU 37 tour. Thanks a lot. All the best. Bye.